You guys have Ninja. I have Ninja. 6,961 other people have Ninja and reviewed him. Guys, welcome. And reviewed him. Guys, welcome to the Ninja Day. I guess one week since the announcement of the Ninja event, we finally get to unlock Ninja and actually use him in many areas of the game. Everybody is trying out Ninja today. We're going to get his um, review in, I guess, from my side. I've seen the other videos from some of the other creators. I've seen their opinions about Ninja. I have my own opinions about Ninja. He has some reviews right here, 4.4 in the Clan Balls. I've seen Clan Balls teams using him in the normal bad eater comp with the two man eaters the pain keeper and the seeker he can definitely be used in there he gets that passive stacked up and he does amazing amount of damage he also does something in the campaign i don't know i've tried him in, in nightmare he's horrible i'll show you guys what i mean everywhere else he gets a 3.5 i don't agree with the potion keeps especially like he should get at least a four not under a four uh fire knight he gets a 3.8 I, I don't agree with the 3.8 I, again, I think it's a little bit higher than that. It should be a little bit higher than that. Since he does have a triple hitting A2. And uh, Faction Wars, Minotaur. Okay, whatever. Spider's Den. Uh, I, I kind of agree with that. And I'll explain why. So, Ninja. Level 60, fully ascended, maxed out, guys. Uh, let's go quickly over his skills in case you haven't seen them already. Defense down on the A1. If he's hitting a boss, he gains some turn meters. So, there's been reports about this not actually working if the boss is a strong affinity so ninja gets a weak affinity hit on the boss that means that the fill and terminator won't work i don't think that it should work like that i think it should work regardless of a weak hit or not so i think that might be a bug even so uh that definitely creates problems in speed tuning ninja in other comps that don't that are not uh, a 2-1 comp next up hellburn his a2 this is what makes him special okay a2 three hitting uh, attack and the three turn cooldown when fully maxed out. 100% chance of placing the HP Baron when maxed out. Also plays a perfect Veil buff on this champion for two turns. Nice protection there. When used against bosses, it will instantly activate any HP Baron debuffs, including HP Baron debuffs placed by this skill. So this is where Ninja is so special with this skill. This does a great deal amount of damage, but unfortunately, it doesn't work. In the spiders then because this is still a three hits at random attack so if one of those three hits doesn't hit the big spider in the spiders then where we have um you know lots of targets against us there's a great chance that you won't hit the boss then this hp burn activation will not occur and it kind of sucks so i think the way that they could go ahead and, and change this would be to make this so that the hp burn um the the attack always hits a boss if it's there and then the other two hits can be random. I, I, I don't mind with the other two hits. Then the Science Slash actually looks pretty cool. Attacks all enemies, 75% chance of placing a freeze, 100% ch chance to freeze. I love this. The, the fact that this has 100% chance to freeze, it's amazing. And this is a combo I'd like to show you right after um, we go into the gameplay. When targeting a boss, we'll only attack the boss, not all enemies, and ignore 50% of the target's defense. Will also decrease the cooldown of the Hellburn skill by one turn. This makes it so that his A3 on a four turn cooldown basically reduces this from a three turn cooldown to a two turn cooldown. And you'll be gaining Terminator whenever you do your A1. Even with all those guys, he does have escalation. His passive increases Ninja's attack by 10% up to 100% and critical damage by 5% up to 25%. Each time a single enemy is hit by all three of Ninja's active skills in a single round this effect can occur multiple times against the same enemy yeah i love this on, on bosses this stacks up way faster also he gains a lot of critical damage so he can hit quite hard i'll show you what i've done with him uh in a boss situation so i love his skills the skills are great the graphics are great except for the the face yeah the face they should change the artifacts the artifacts for me personally i use him in a relentless set i don't think that this is the only way to go. Of course, if you're running a clan boss team, you can go with a lifestyle set. If it's not unkillable, unkillable teams, especially the battery comps, works best with a relentless set. Not this specific speed, but with a 220 speed, I think is the best way uh, to go with that. I've built him with some stats here. Nothing too crazy. 4.2k attack, 
200 speed, 100% crit, 268 critical damage. When I say nothing too crazy, I mean his attack. His attack, I could have gone with my better set and be at about 5.5k attack with about the, the same other stats. But remember, we also need some accuracy on this champion. So 280 on the accuracy to be on the safe side in all dungeons. And yeah, the Doom Tower, uh, it's going to be an issue with the Doom Tower. Maybe you'll need about 350. Depends if you have an accuracy lead. So Masteries, I've gone um, pretty, pretty simple. Went with War Master on him. I could have gone, actually, because this is a three hitting attack at random. I could have gone, let's say, with a Giant Slayer. But since it can be, it's considered like a three separate hits. If I'm not mistaken, you can still proc War Master with it. Now, War Master is a single skill, right? If it's a, it occurs once per skill. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, War Master is right. So, so when I was thinking about it, I was right. And then I went the uh, accuracy route as well. Got the Master Hexer. Extended the duration of his debuffs. He applies debuffs, guys. Remember that on his A1 and A2. So let's go and, and I'll show you what I mean. First up, in, in terms of... Um, of the campaign he doesn't do anything i mean everybody can farm brutal with the gear that i have currently on him everybody can do it so that being said can he do anything against the other stages so let's go against 12 6 where a champion with good enough sets should be able to farm it depending on what skills he has so i got lucky there with the extra turn that's fine eh, we're doing something here I'm gonna get attacked he's gonna hit us hard uh, we've got a lucky weak hit there. As long as we get our A3 going, then we might be able to survive. But this is not consistent by by any means. Look at that. So we got destroyed there by the Allure. This happens. I've tried it many times. This champion can't farm Nightmare, unfortunately. But can he do any damage? Let's go into the Spiders then where I told you I have... Well... There is a team that you can possibly use him. Okay, let's say you want to use him in an HP nuke team. So this is the team that I was trying him on. We'll go in and I'll explain what I mean. So this is the normal team that I would use instead of uh, Ninja there. I would actually use Renegade. My Cold Heart will go with the custom AI. So here Ninja, actually, if he tries to do his A3, He'll hit the boss and he won't do a freeze. So he you can use him for that, unfortunately. If you try to use his A2 now, it, it doesn't really work. So we'll go with the A3 here. Um, and just do some damage there on the boss. 22k, nothing too crazy. Let's now apply the H3 Baron on everybody. We need that. Let's do the uh freeze so we control the spire links. So now we've got our first activation of the H3 Baron debuffs, and that's from Sissia, which is an amazing champion. Look at what, what kind of damage she does. So Ninja can do the same thing, but his A2 need, needs to hit the boss at least once. So let's see if we can actually get lucky. I didn't get lucky in the, the time that I tried it before. So let's see if we can actually get it now. We didn't get it. Again, we got it uh, on the Spire Links, unfortunately. So this is why it, it didn't really activate. And basically the run will actually fail. So that's why I don't like him in the spiders then. If it had something there so that the H3 Baron would always hit a boss if there is a boss there, he would be an amazing champion for the spider. Even without that, having a high damaging champion like Ninja in your spider team is still a solid way to go. And considering that this champion will be free for the game for the next three months, this is insane because many players will experience a legendary champion in their first couple of days it's going to be good for their account he does do some solid damage and has that freeze that freeze is so so crucial you guys don't understand how strong that freeze can be all right guys so stage 25 of the fire knight i'm going to show you how i use ninja here usually i use renegade okay this is oh, wait where is it <laughs> this is my team it goes from a minute 20 is my fastest for uh fire knight 25 to two minutes 30 if i get some bad rng and somebody dies this happens because my team is still not optimized. I'm missing a few key key accessories for, for the normal team to work that does it in about a minute to a minute. 20, 50 seconds, I think, is the world record uh, on that specific team. But with Ninja, let me show you what it can do with Ninja. Okay, it still works, and I think it's more consistent. So I have a little trick here with the custom AI just because of Relentless Set procs and the possibility of those procs. So he's, you saw that he did his A1 there. 
The knight he should do is a2. But before the enemies manage to take a turn, he should have um, an opportunity to get his own turn in there and freeze everybody with his a3. We're, we're a little bit slow, but look at that control there with the freeze. Everybody is now frozen. We're just waiting for that seer to get her turn. Once she gets her turn, we should be at a good position here. So ninja goes. Boom, the A2. I'm just waiting for Seer now, basically, to get her uh, Karma Burn. Oh, we didn't. What happened there? Nobody died. Remember, Freeze also reduces damage taken by the enemies by 25%. So if you want, you want, you go with the Masteries that um, increase your damage when an enemy is frozen so that you can counter that a little bit more. So here you see that he has that A2, triple hitting A2. It helps. With the boss so so much so you're not standing there not doing any damage but look at all those procs there that 80,000 80,000 80,000 just amazing amount of damage uh coming out of ninja we'll see the recap in the end for the real real um insights behind him look at that a155,000 um just waiting here to see he gets a turn now boom the a177 plus 56 56, that's the War Master. So waiting for his turn again. Right after the Royal Guard. There's that A2. Look at those 80,000s. Those are the A3 Burns proccing. So happy about that. I think the A3 Burns usually do a little bit more damage, but I might be mistaken. So a pretty consistent uh, team right here at 2 minutes 30 with Ninja there. And instead, and he does have the control factor in there because Ninja will be doing his freeze uh, instead. So um, let's do another run again just to see because I, I definitely got a little bit of faster time before. Let me just uh, tweak this out. And let's just run this again and, and see how fast this goes without me stopping uh, everything. Is that A2? We need the A2 from Ninja. There it is. There's the Karma Burn. So next turn, Ninja is going to start out with his freeze. Everybody will be frozen. We'll have control. Nobody will be will be hit by uh, Nethril or whoever else. So look at that beautiful freeze on everybody. We have a weekend going. We need a defense down now by Lydia. There we go. Hopefully we landed it on everybody. 35 seconds. We should be on the minute. We should be on the boss. There we go. There's Karma Burn. There we go. Okay. 53 seconds to reach the boss. So here, again, the ninja power um, goes in. Okay. You see the big damage numbers. I know that he's not the best, but remember, this is a free champion to have. Just understand the utility that he provides. I'm happy that this champion is free because there's not many champions that we receive that are free that have a 100% chance when booked to freeze a whole wave, the, the, all of the enemies against you. And that also works differently when you hit, you're hitting bosses. So you can use him in, in a clan boss situation or not just have him be useless once you reach the boss because he's usable on wave one, wave two, and on wave three, which is the boss stage, he basically becomes way way better so look at this this run maybe we get a relentless proc here and he'll actually be uh be doing a little bit more damage we get an under two minutes run look at that a2 there big damage coming out of ninja i think we'll get the uh, under two minutes once the lure goes one minute 56 so pretty different than before but still under two minutes is a fantastic time look at that damage there 1.4 million he is the second damage, second highest damage dealer uh, in the team. So I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying he is a solid champion. I know the gear that he has is end game, but again, free champion, guys, free champion. Um, it's not free to book him, but free champion. So I'm honestly uh, positively surprised with how, how Ninja uh, works in this team. There's some tweaks that I would recommend if 
if Pyram ever watches these videos that I do, that if they could, where's Ninja? I can't find it. So if, if they could, if they could change a few things about Ninja so that it, he is a more stable champion within, um, let's say the Spiders Den, that would solve many players' problems out there. I would recommend maybe changing his A2 and then looking into the A1, uh, where if a weak hit happens, possibly the term meter boost is not happening. So that's not still confirmed, but um, it was mentioned in the content creator chat. So I, I just had to mention it also in the video. So this was the video for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you watch this far,